What happens when you set seven billion minds free to connect with each other? The velocity of ideas. We are more connected to more people on the planet today than ever before. We all have to create and design and execute in a global economy, in a global market. The Design Futures Council uh, has an annual survey. You can see how we're dramatically moving from a certain kind of profession and towards a different kind of profession. We're finding ourselves with maybe easy ways to present, but is our design thinking really changing in this? Are we really, you know, hand to paper? Is it, uh, is it the models that we're building? You know, what's really giving us that other level of inspiration? Do any of us really need anything more than the basics? No, but we all want something more than the basics. It's not how you feel about the design and the experience, it's how it makes you feel about yourself. And I like to draw this distinction between invention and innovation because I see them as two separate things. It's not just that there are new products, they are new concepts. Crowdsourcing is the idea that you want people who are outside of your company or organization or project to give you ideas, feedback, thoughts, um, and that you're then going to do something with it. What we find makes, creates the most innovative environments is, is the combination of experts and, and generalists. So it's that one foot in tradition and one foot in innovation that seems to be the, the sweet spot. If people don't understand the innovation, they feel inferior and they push away. Failure can turn into success just by finding the right way of translating the value for people and helping them see how it can fit into their lives. We're extremely early in, in something that's going to fundamentally change the way work happens, the way that design happens, and the way that we live in communities. It's all about creating a culture and a fertile ground where very um, amazing and unexpected things can happen. The question is, Will we be victims of the future, or will we shape it? And are we moving quickly enough with discipline to anticipate the new opportunities and new successes? Let's, let's reach out there to the community and start branding ourselves as a community that does bring value to, to North America and brings value to the rest of the world. Design in the future will be the most important profession in our society. It's our responsibility and our privilege to navigate through the fog and show the others the way. <laughs>